This here. Oh my goodness. Are you ready? Are you ready? Do you want to know how much she paid for it? Nothing. It was a curbside pickup. Free. Sold for $625 on best offer. How incredible is that? Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. This is a featured members video. In this video, I am going to feature members of my YouTube channel. So they have joined memberships. They hit this join button and joined at level two to be featured in this video. Um, some of them have eBay stores. Some of them have YouTube channels. Not everyone has a YouTube channel, but I will link eBay stores and YouTube channels down in the description. I encourage you to go down there and check them out. They are incredible bolo finders. Um, these are going to be big money bolos or unexpected bolos, items that we as resellers need to be on the lookout for. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. All right, let's get started. So the first item is going to come from... Ooh. Ooh. YouTube channel, A Rural Squirrel. And if you are not following Kristen, what are you doing? Um, she is amazing and she does Goodwill Bins videos and the stuff she pulls out of these bins, I will tell you, I am doing more and more and more of these videos because I, I'm just going to say I'm a little bit obsessed in going to the Goodwill Bins. It is so fun. Um, let's see what she found. And her channel is jam packed with Ben's videos. So go and sub her up. She is really close to 5,000 subscribers. All right, so she found a trumpet at the Goodwill Benz. I mean, who finds a trumpet at the Benz? Kristen does. It is a Bundy H&A Selman, or I'm sorry, Selmer Brass Horn Trumpet with mouthpiece and hard case. So um, she ended up paying $9.59 for this, and it sold for $149.99 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this um, Western Pleasure Show Rail Shirt Jacket Horsemanship Showmanship Hobby Horse Vintage. You guys, it's got the original tag on it. It's fantastic. Um, I probably would have grabbed it. It looks like it even has the hanger. That's incredible that she pulled that out of a, uh, a Goodwill Benz. If you don't know, the Goodwill Benz are overflow from Goodwill's. Um, either things that haven't sold or, like I said, overflow, things that don't make it to the floor. But um, you pay by the pound. So she's got about $1.50 in this, and she took a best offer of $98 plus shipping. The next item here comes um, from the bins as well. She said they were pushing this back. So once it's been on the floor and it's picked over and nobody has bought it, it goes to the back to be processed to go to the landfill. And she saved this. She asked them if she could have this item. It is an antique Victorian needlepoint kneeling bench or footstool. And she ended up getting this um, heavier item. Sometimes you can get them for a flat price. She got it for five bucks and she sold it for $124.99. That's incredible. I would have picked this up. It is really a fantastic piece. It's got some damage, but it is still great. All right. The next item comes from Champagne Taste 73. No YouTube channel, but this is her eBay store. If you want to follow these stores, you can go up here to the Save Seller. Click on that heart. If they send out coupons or if um, they post new items, you will get alerts in your email. So it's a great way to follow stores. Lots of beautiful items in this store. So definitely go and check it out. Looks like most of the items are vintage. Um, just fantastic here. Let's see what she sold. She sold these Crown Trafari Alfred Felipe Aero earrings. These were from her personal collection. They are rhodium plated and they are hard to find. And she sold these for $280 with free shipping. The next item is this Charles Albert pendant, and this is their crystals, like the big old chunky crystals, and it's on this bezel here, and it is signed. 
And this was also from her personal collection, and she sold this for $165. So from what I understand, she's kind of downsizing and um, selling off some of her beautiful jewelry. So check out her store. The next item is this Furby from 2005. It is a strawberry swirl. 59294. People are buying these and they are customizing them and then reselling them. I don't know if that's what happened in this situation, but uh, some of these vintage Furbies are definitely a bolo. She got this one at the Goodwill for $7, sold it for 130 global shipping program. Um, so an international sale. This here, she bought on eBay for $20 and she fixed it. I guess there was something going on with the feet. And so she bought it on eBay for $20, fixed it, and sold it on eBay for $115. This is the Queen's Coronation Coach Lead 20 Inches Long King, Queen, Riders, and Horses. Just a girl making a living thrifting, double T's treasures. Great personality, great bolos, great channel. Go and check her out. I will have her link down below. Um, she does some different style videos. She does do clothing, some thread up, um, just uh, not lost cargo. Yeah, I think a lost cargo store. We'll talk about that. Uh, this item right here, she got at an estate sale. She paid $15 for it and it came in a box, but it was the wrong box. So what did she do? She parted it out. So this is the action figure and his little outfit here. And she sold this for a best offer of $110. Now I'm going to play a short clip. And you guys may have seen this in one of my other videos. It is a repeat, but it goes along with this. So I wanted to share it with you and give her a little more exposure. So this is Double T Treasures telling you about the box, the empty box that she sold and how much she sold it for. So let's check that out. Hey guys, my name is Tanya and I'm just a girl out here making a living thrifting and today's bolo is an empty box. That's right, this G.I. Joe empty box. I went to an estate sale, I picked this up, it had a price tag of $30 on there. It did come with a G.I. Joe inside, however the G.I. Joe is not the marine G.I. Joe, so I split the two up and I ended up listing this box all by itself. For $137 with free shipping, the box is not perfect. It actually has several flaws to it. Some of the glue is bad. Some of the tape has come off right here, which I made sure to show all of that in my listing. And I still ended up selling this within 30 minutes of posting it. It is a 1964 G.I. Joe Marine. All right, the next item she sold is this Muppets of, or of Muppets and Men, the making of The Muppet Show. I think this is a book. And she got this at a church sale for $5 and took a best offer of $100 for that. This one here is a Poshmark sale. I love this one. Um, she is double underscore T's on Poshmark. So for those of you that are Poshmark sellers, go and follow her. It is a discontinued product, got to be phenomenal. And it is like, I think it's like hair gel or hair cream, styling cream. That's what it is. And um, she got this at a thrift store for $7. It was an unclaimed baggage thrift store. And she's got some video footage of different, uh, of that store. So go check that out if you want to see how that works. She sold this for $120, three of them, $120 on Poshmark. Poshmark's fantastic for hard goods. So um, if you sell hard goods and you're not selling on Poshmark, definitely grab that opportunity. Different buyers over there. Zeph Eclectics, uh, Unique Treasures, Everyday Savings. And this is her eBay store. Great items. Um, lots of variety. And again, she will be linked down below along with everyone else. So check her out. And let's see what she sold here. She sold this ornate heirloom cast iron mirror vanity dresser don't know that word filigree art nouveau nouveau i think i said it right all right she got this at the goodwill for three dollars sold it for 114 with free shipping and it cost her about 13 to ship this the next item is this french creek sheep and wool knit chunky sweater oversized cardigan with um, a cow neck 
And I probably would have walked right past this. Never in a million years would I have thought that it was worth so much money. However, it does have this awesome vintage tag. So that may have made me look twice at it. Uh, she got this for $6 and it sold overnight for $149.50 plus shipping. The next item is this 2015 through 2017 Nissan Sentra CD AM FM radio for a vehicle. And she got this at the Goodwill for $5 and she sold it in two days for $195 plus shipping. All right. This, both the great and the small eBay store, this is a new member. So definitely if you um, have been following the featured members, this one's new. So go down and follow. Lots of great items from toys to collectibles. And let's see what she sold. This here, oh my goodness. Are you ready? Vintage ornate chandeliers, set of two wedding cake glass prism Hollywood flush mount. Look at these beauties. Are you ready? Do you want to know how much she paid for it? Nothing. It was a curbside pickup. Free. Sold for $625 on best offer. How incredible is that? curbside pickup. Uh, this is a Rossini genie bottle decanter and pulley, Italy, amber glass, diamond cut, uh, vintage MCM. Great keywords. That's another reason to check out people's eBay stores is to look at their keywords. If people are good with keywords, it is a fantastic way to learn. Um, she got this at a thrift store for $2 and sold it for a best offer of 120 plus shipping. The next item here is this silver stone, I don't know what this is, hot swap cage. She didn't know what it was either, but she said she scanned it in the thrift store and the comparables were fantastic. So she went ahead and bought it. She paid $5 for this at the Goodwill and sold it for $149.99. So anything that has a barcode that is still sealed, definitely um, look that up. And I don't even see a barcode on this. Maybe she, uh, there it is. There's the barcode. Definitely look those items up. Some of them are a nice surprise. This is PNW Flips, and she is a newer YouTube channel. So go show her some love with the sub. She's at 38 subscribers. Let's see how many we can get her. All right. Um, she is doing some shorts over on her channel, but she is also doing longer videos as well. So check her out. And what did she sell? Not that. I was having trouble finding an item. So we're just going to feature two here because we could not locate one of them. I lost my spot. Okay, so this is a Bluetooth wireless in-car speaker phone, and she said she has sold these before. She picked this up at a garage sale for $4 and sold it for $40 plus shipping. The next item she sold is this HP Ink, and this is not expired. I know that people do sell expired ink, and I was recently, um, I think it was in one of my Vero videos, people were saying that you cannot sell HP ink internationally. I don't know if that's all ink. Um, I have not verified this, but that is what I am hearing. So me, I'm not going to list, uh, I'm going to turn off global shipping. I'm not going to have international shipping on ink just to play it safe. So just a little tip there. But she sold two of these to the same person, $40 all in for two of these, free shipping. And she got these at a garage sale for 50 cents each. So definitely be on the lookout for ink. But again, be careful and do not sell it internationally. Um, a lot of those international, um, when you're shipping internationally, there are things that cannot be shipped. I know another one um, was a hair color can't remember which one it was or if it even matters, but hair color, I would just turn off international shipping for that as well. Eye Candy Vintage, another amazing store. I'm going to just kind of scroll through some of her items and then let you know what she sold. Look how cute these little bunnies are. Those would be great for Easter, right? Okay. She sold The Wizard of Oz, six figurines here. These are Lowe's, I think is how you say it. I have sold these before. I sell them individually because I have never been lucky enough to find a complete set. 
Uh, she got these at a thrift store for $10 and sold them for $45. They did message her and say they were going to use them as cake toppers. And that is one thing I tell you guys all the time to put cake topper in your title for small toys because people will buy them and use them on cakes um, for cake decorations. Um, Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger even did it for Christmas ornaments. She put uh, cake topper in the title. So this is a Davis Gloucester fish wood box. And she got this at a thrift store for $2 and sold it for $42.77 plus shipping. The next item here is this, oh, I forget how to say it. Giuseppe, Giuseppe Armani figurine. And you know who's been selling these over on her channel is Donatella Bottolino. Um, that is her YouTube channel. And the same person has been buying these up because she probably looked them up and saw that they were a bolo. She got this at a auction and she paid $37 for it and took a best offer of $215. So this is not from Donatella's auction, but I have seen, I know she sold at least four of these. I don't know if she has more or not, but she bought them from um, a high-end estate clean out. So very, very cool uh, brand and definitely something to be on the lookout for. The next item comes from Franklin Hill Ventures. You guys, he's not putting a whole lot on YouTube right now, but definitely subscribe to him because sometimes he puts shorts over here um, showing you what he's going to be selling on whatnot. Um, he has really, um, whatnot is really working out well for him. He's Franklin Hill Ventures over there. And he used to do a lot on eBay and, um, Mercari and I think just those two, there may be another platform in there, Etsy maybe, but he's just like going full force with whatnot. So follow him over there if you're on whatnot. And I'm going to show you some of his sales on eBay. The first item he sold is this FUBU Queens hoodie sweatshirt. He got this at a thrift store for $4.98 and sold it for $52 plus shipping on eBay auction. The next item is this Theodore Havland New York China Clinton covered vegetable bowl. And he said he also bought the matching plates and sold out of those. This vegetable bowl cost him about $2 and he sold it for $40 plus shipping. And here is what it looks like on the bottom. The next item is interesting. Um, it is a postcard and it says Matthew Kershick worm food Halloween postcard limited edition Popeye's signed. So um, Popeye's postcards is a YouTube channel and he is also selling postcards on whatnot. So um, Stuart was over at his auction and he won the giveaway. And this was the giveaway. And it's a limited edition. I believe this is 2022. There's only so many that are made. And I think Pipe, Popeye's postcard sells these exclusively from what I understand. Um, this ended up selling for $31 plus shipping. So very cool. And he sold that on eBay. So great to know. It's All Goods 94, another channel um, that, or eBay store that is going over to Whatnot. So check her out. She is It's All Goods 94 over there as well. And this is her eBay store. She does not have a YouTube channel. She does specialize in toys and has a lot of fantastic items. So go and check her out. This is a Tinker Bell Disney Peter Pan Neverland Music Box. You can fly. Look how cute it is. And she got this at a garage sale for $15 and sold it for a best offer of $156 plus shipping. The next item here is this Green Bay Packers Jimmy Inflatable. I always pick up these inflatables. One thing I don't like about them is that I have to inflate them and take the pictures. Um, I'm kind of a lazy reseller, so I don't really like that part. But I know that they're a big money bolo, so I almost always pick them up um, if the price is, is good. She got this at a garage sale for $3, took a best offer of $102 plus shipping. This is a vintage poke. Pococco, Pococco, ah, P-O-C-H-A-C-C-O. I don't know what that says, but it's anime, made in Japan, Sanrio, 1999 backpack. 
Um, and I just lied to you guys. The backpack was from a garage sale for $3 and sold for $102.99. The football guy was from a garage sale, but she paid $5 for him and took a best offer of $100. So just a little off there. These vintage 1989 Halloween McDonald's buckets, pails, complete set of three. These are a nice little bolo. She got these. Um, she bought a whole bulk buy of 50 of these buckets. And she's got approximately $2 in this set. And she sold best offer of $54.99 for these. So definitely be on the lookout. They have different faces, different colors, different styles. Some grow for more than others. So definitely look them up before you buy them. All right, rare Chuck E. Cheese crown, party time, birthday, 2005, hard to find, another inflatable item, and this one sold for $86, and she got it at a garage sale for $0.25. Cents. All right, I just want to say thank you. I hit 22,000 subscribers. I can't even believe it. Um, I started this channel kind of on a whim. I wasn't ever planning to do YouTube. So to hit 22,000 subscribers is just amazing. And I just want to thank you all so much for being here. Um, I did decide to update my channel banner because I wasn't even wearing glasses in it. And I'm like, I wear glasses all the time now. Like I need them to see because I'm getting older, you know, does anybody know how that is like getting older, needing glasses? Put something in the comments. Let me know how you know you're getting older. Mine is, ooh, glasses. All right. So I reached out to, um, let me pull up my screen share here. Um, Real Creative Studios. That's who does my editing. She did my um, channel art. She also came up with my OWL logo and intro, outro, all that stuff she does for me. And I'm like, I need a new banner, which I really just wanted her to update the picture. So really pretty simple, but I will tell you trying to get a picture that fits in that spot. Oh my goodness. So this is what I came up with. I went with a hat because you guys know I love my hats, but I also wanted to show you a little bit, one that's a little more fancy. And that is the Rebel reseller. She did her banner and I just think it is incredible. It completely like describes her channel perfectly and I love it. So if you need any services like that, Real Creative Studios, her link is down in the description. This is not sponsored. I'm just sharing with you because I got a new banner. And of course, you guys know I love to shout out uh, channels and people that help me. So subscribe to The Rebel Reseller and check out Real Creative Studios if you need uh, video editing services, banners, all that stuff. Um, if you're interested in these hats, I just buy these on eBay. Everybody asks me where I get my hats and I did put it in my link tree, I think. So that's down in the description, but I have like every color. <laughs> I love them. Um, they're great for bad hair day in here. Thank you for watching. If you would like to join memberships, fantastic. If not, no worries. Thank you for coming and watching. Um, leave me an emoji of a hat down in the comments. And if you don't have a hat emoji, just write the word hat and tell me what your favorite bolo was. Thanks for watching.